in this tutorial we will learn that how we can use the diac within the proteus first of all we need to learn that how a diac works actually it is it is just like the combination of two diodes is i will open the library and I will write diac and here you will see that its symbol is just like that it is having two diodes connected in opposite direction so what will actually diac do when any sort of voltage is applied like if we apply the voltage like uh, we will just take a battery that is the single cell and we will apply here okay then take one dc ammeter okay and connect it with the battery so actually what will happen you can see that the above diode is having its cathode connected with the positive terminal of the battery the lower diode is having its positive terminal with the positive terminal of the battery and its negative terminal with the negative terminal of the battery and if we see the first diode that is the above its positive terminal is with the negative terminal of the battery so the above diode is in the reverse configuration while the lower diode is in the forward bias configuration so what will happen that di the lower diode is supposed to work but the upper diode is not supposed to work but actually both of them must be working or in conduction mode in order to have a flow of current within the circuit like uh, first you must have to apply a small voltage and the lower diode will on but it doesn't mean that the current will flow throughout the circuit we must have to consider diode the above diode that is the diode one or above diode it must have to be above a certain voltage level to to break down its threshold like double click on it and here you can see that trigger voltage is 50 volt what it means that when 50 volt is applied on this on this diac it will conduct and if it is even 48 or 49 volts it is not going to conduct simple as that so we will just uh, change our voltages to 45 battery voltages are 45 and then we will run it and you can see that there isn't any sort of flow of current then we will double click on the battery and we will just write 49 and we again see there no conduction we again will double click on it and we will just write 50.6 now it is above the threshold so you can see that there is there is 10.1 amps flowing throughout the circuit so diac is actually a useful component if you want to trigger a certain device after a certain threshold voltage so hopefully you got the concept regarding the use of diac within any circuit so thanks for watching this video tutorial